Hello Valley viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to Yard Geschwader 9 campaign, episode 3, Bypass What's Going On. Okay, welcome back everybody to part 3 in the uh, Stalingrad airlift operation. Um, so, what happened last time? Well, uh, some of us finally made it to Stalingrad. Uh, we lost a lot on the way, um, but this is where we start our mission today, uh, 24th January 1943, 4pm. So let me read through the, the briefing. Uh, we pick up our story where we left off. JG-9 finally made it to Stalingrad and Gumrak airfield, though sadly without the transports. Stronger than expected resistance at the town of Kalachnadonu, combined with the hyper-aggressive Soviet pilots, took most of them down. The majority of the fighters did make it and even managed to fight off an attempted strafe attack enemy from enemy fighter bombers. And you, the tired pilots of JG-9, were just starting to get settled in for what was looking like a particular nasty Russian winter night when you suddenly receive a bit of bad news. Morozovsk, that very useful airfield, has just been retaken by Soviet ground troops. And so, it will now be unusable for any return flight. To return to Salsk and thus safety, you will have to fly directly over the mountains and will likely attract attention. Furthermore, you are told that the German 6th Army HQ under huge pressure from the surrounding Russian armies, has just ordered a general withdrawal to newly made defensive positions further into the city. You were very interested and somewhat slightly surprised to note, however, that these positions did not seem to include your current physical location, nor that of the airfield on which your plane had just been parked. In even better news, you can hear explosions getting closer to your taxiway, which you sus suspect might be coming from some less than friendly Russians, keen on taking their airfield back. With only two hours or so left of daylight to make it all the way back to Salsk, in what appears to be worsening weather, you rev the S out of your engines and decide that discretion is the better part of valor. Your task today is to make it back to Salsk. So that is your task, to make it back alive. The mission starts at 4 p.m. and the mission will end at 6 p.m. hopefully. Um, that is when it'll get dark, so we should hopefully make it back by then. And uh, the weather, the weather is bad, uh, visibility is bad, and uh, the base cloud is at eight or 9,000 feet. It is snowing, um, a bit of wind as well, and temperatures are freezing. Um, the respawn conditions, we have the usual ones. Uh, in addition to the special one we have in place for this campaign, um, if you parachute and land over Gumrak or Salsk, um, you can uh, keep your life. Um, if you parachute over Gumrak, you can respawn once. Gumrak is our starting airfield. So the flight plan, JG-9 flight plan and briefing. So step one, um, we are under attack. The airfield is going, probably going to fall to, Russia, to Soviet forces in about 20 to 30 minutes. So we have to take off before that happens. Uh, turn on your nav lights, your pitot heaters and the oxygen um, to help with visibility conditions, which are very bad, as I said. Um, form up above the airfield and once everyone is, is there and have checked in, follow the river that is next to the airfield and this will go north, upstream and that is the only escape route now available. Step two, so uh, we have some nav markers, green smoke again, that will guide us past the reservoir, upstream along the river into the northern valley to the mountains, uh, roughly 15 miles. On the way we'll have to dodge enemy patrols and stay under 2,000 meters. We will likely stay low anyway because the visi visibility is so bad, um, more than 200 meters from the ground and we can't see the ground anymore at, at certain points in the canyon. So cross over the mountains, enter the canyon following instructions and our markers, green smoke. As I said, visibility inside is extremely poor. Um, once out of the canyon, and that'll be it. Basically, we fly west-northwest, uh, 300 for 19 miles back to Salsk. And then our job will be just to locate Salsk in the dying light and land. Um, and ATC and radio beacon are available, which I'll touch on a bit b below. Um, so a uh, simple flight plan, really. What could go wrong? So uh, important operational considerations next. Um, there is a, a new addition to, to this campaign in this mission. It's um, the radio beacons. So I've set the uh, aircraft uh, radios and their ADF to a certain frequency to help us locate our airbase uh, on the way back. So please uh, take a look at that in the radio section. Um, Sask Air Base will be launching some flares as we approach to help us with visibility as well. Um, the radios have been set to uh, one and two, two alternative air bases in the area. 
And uh, t channel three will be SASC ATC. And four is the EWR station, just in case. Uh, there's a, a new radar system installed at SASC. And the navigation beacon will be 111.7. And that's basically it in a nutshell. Make your way through the mountains and direction head towards the airbase. Try and find the, the beacon, listen out for the signal and find the way back before dark. Staffel 1, red, 109, rhino, cover, cap, high, blau, makabu, royal, in Fokkerwolf, green, he100, blight, yellow, me210, matrix, sock, simba, tanky, Staffel 2, red, 109, bypass, blue, 190, push, green, 190, red, yellow, ME210, space chef, jackal, arty, lucky, let's scramble. Rhino's leading us today. Really? Oh. Yeah, I died in the first one, remember? Huh. Oh. Which one way, guys? Who's playing 11? Right. Uh, somebody else take lead from the uh, first 109 flight. I've only had this module for three hours. Huh. I kept coming, I'll be up front, Cap. Well, actually, you want to lead today, Cap? No, I don't want to lead. You come and buy me. Yeah, 3 2. I think if anything, I'm less qualified for cover. Then you'll be on, on the runway. Flight to yellow is taxing to the runway. Uh, Wilton flight taxing to the runway. We're going to launch, go left orbit. Copy. Uh, go ahead and uh, have lights on that. Yeah. Okay, before we go up, heat your heat and nav lights. Oh, doesn't matter. And this thing's hard to fly. Come on your tail. Roger, going left. Make sure your guns are ready. We need to do PO heat, where is it? Uh, right knee, just push all those circuit breakers in. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I think the wind is heavy, I'm getting... Yeah. Warm. It is horrible, horrible, horrible. Ah, Milsim is hard. Shit. Fuck's sake. Right up to number breakers. Roger. I'm uh, left down one now.
be check cover. Uh, 420. Come on, where's high? Where's Rhino? I'm here. I'm touching behind. We're already there. Scramble up, can I? We're left a little bit now. And this visibility, yo. Yeah. We're getting fired on, but there's a cop tank column behind the runway by two miles. I was taking fire. Yeah, we just disabled in with very low altitude. Did you see that tank column? Let me rejoin on you. Okay, I've got uh, plus eight boost. The speed is 260. Uh, I have lost the lead, where the hell did he go? Hi, it's not airborne, I'm off your uh, 9 o'clock cap. I'm because you're touching, Gav, you're the 109 touching right now? We've been airborne for 10 minutes. Because there's um, hostile ground vehicles right near the base, so be careful. Get out of you.
Uh, Are you up, boy? Royal High Top, I'm flying north right now, following, following the river. And hi, Rhino, we'll meet you at the first rendezvous. We're just getting out front with some Aussie. Yeah, I'm following some Aussie goldfish. Yeah, could we hold up one, one green marker just for a rendezvous? Roger. Matrix, Roger. Mark blue, rocker. Road flight cut. Not gonna lie, Cap, I have no idea what the fuck we're doing today, so, uh... We're going right now, I think. We're about to land on, so... We're here. Just follow the mozzies. Hills. 
I'm in the, I'm in the clouds out. Well, I've got no joy over everything or anything really. You need to get low, otherwise you're gonna draw the fighters. Uh, Cap, what do you think about this next little caldera? You want to do an order here? Let them catch up. 
Yeah, make it tight though, otherwise we'll lose VFR. Yeah, well, just uh, stay loose and we'll hit each other. Going trail. Weather off the second waypoint is pretty clear. Yeah, we were just passing out the third. We're going to orbit here, we've got a little space, so I'll let you guys catch up. Okay, Matrix is visual with the third green smoke. Roger, we're doing more of the third green smoke. Sally, third smoke. We're at third smoke. Yep, visual on the mozzies. Over left. Oh, yeah, I got visual on cap and yeah, I got you guys there on uh, left front. Right hand turn. Left now. Watch out for those cables. Go and hang out with those mozzies to cover. Go for it, I'll keep eyes. Just watch your temps cap, where if we pull back too much, increase the engine. Roger, yeah, I'm watching. The governor should still take care of it. Man, this slow. And yeah, mozzies, you got your one of that just warming up, will you? Get too tight, just make it a nice tactical uh, loose formation. 190 over six over third smoke. Watch your gear. You gotta you gotta gear down. Yeah, left gear looks to be down for the uh, Euro okay, man. Uh, full screen smoke visual. Uh, tally uh, matrix.
Right past the matrix. Go ahead, matrix. Uh, just passing between two smokes, it says leave the river, turn right here. That's right, you're on the right track, keep going. Uh, is there a heading or do we just continue on this straight ahead from here? Oh, There's sick. a road below you, you have to follow the road. Break, break, there is a valley with trees between the green smoke. Careful when you're here, guys. Be careful. I can't see shit. Uh, the flying conditions in here are very poor. It's a right turn once you're past that second smoke. Back one. Roger. There's a, there's a, a valley collision. You just need to go through a little bit of cloud. It's getting very dangerous. Wind is picking up. So I just need to go the weather is getting bad. I took it that's you, Archie, on the, uh, on the right. Copy. Cloud of air smoke slight right uh, turn watch it. There's towers around this corner. Oh, this isn't fun at all. This isn't fun at all, guys. Yeah, I can't yeah, see. You might want to keep your speed low actually, guys. Viewers, my senses, my senses have all gone. There we go. I'm going to have a chat with Barnes Wallace to admit it's a rain following radar, quick. Visibility improves after the next two waypoints, guys. I'm scouting out ahead. Yeah, the eighth smoke is much clearer. Archie from Matrix, I'm now behind you. I shall slow up slightly so you can take the lead again. Roger, pass to your left. I'm going to do one quick orbit here to the right to rejoin you guys. I don't want to get too far ahead of my Man, awesome weather here. <laughs> Yeah, I got to the gear park here. Oh, yeah. All right. Are we uh, holding uh, for everyone at the green smoke down in the valley? Negative. <laughs> it's a bit tight here. To regroup. It's a bit tight here. I suggest we continue and uh, regroup the other side of the terrain. Yeah, uh, just after the green smoke, there's a little more space. Next green smoke inside, I think it's number eight. So we'll move at the next uh, green smoke. Negative, it's still very tight in terrain. Copy. Between green smoke 7 and 8, I think there's enough space to make a nice orbit. I think we have, we have as many that are going to join us up here as we can, really. I think uh, we've got a good package here of five aircraft, so we should just push with it. Copy. The rest are all kind of lost. Seven aircraft there, man, because I'm behind the other mosquito here in the smoke. I'm following you with that right fish or solo clock long. Weather's closing in. Yeah, it's getting worse. Spaceship now passing the green smoke number eight. Space weather, your wings. Done. Yeah, no, that was not you. I'm behind another Mossy. Copy. Who's that on my right wing? Is that you, uh, hi? Right. No, 
I'm on the left wing of Amosi right now, getting to the thicker part of the river. Ah, right, is that right, over? Lucky, can you check that my fuel cocks are now in the inboard position, the main position? I think I just switched them. Who's the most just padding? Yeah, I right, right, right now. Yeah, I'm I got to be sure on you guys, I'm right behind you with another Mossy. Uh, looks like the mountains are gone here. Chapter 2, Fortress. Matrix and you a team here. What are we doing, Cabot? I have to go on, Cap. Can't overtake me. Boys, I'm gonna join you there, Cap. I got Dali and you, Dijon and you, Turtle Group. Let's go and get him. Roger, it's uh, left turn now, 060. Yellow 2, heading 060. Find just another one right here, right here. Lots of fuel, at least half of the external tank and the internal fuel complete. Cap, contest. Yellow one lead is pressing to south, uh, 300 for 90 miles. Are we dumping these tanks, guys? Uh, negative, hold the tanks for now. Let's start climbing up. We're leaving the bomber roll. Shoot the bombers down. Uh, Roger, we'll speed us, turning right zero six zero to intercept. Remember, the bombers will have laser gunners, so just hit and run, hit and run, don't stop in behind them. Yeah, Angel 20 is at uh, 6,000 meters. Angel 20, you have in your city, you want to start climbing, boys? Bye, but I don't know if I break the, break the low deck, no? Climbing now. Uh, screw, screw the ceiling, let's go. Rock and roll, power on, climbing. What engine pressure are you at, Lee? Uh, 1.38. Get disoriented trying to climb through the ceiling. Yep, yep, IFR guys. <laughs> Fucking additive indicators, useless. This is where it goes hard, Valley viewers. I've lost all my reference. Passing through angels, uh, 3 metres. Passing through Angels 2.5. Yeah, let's try and meet up over the clouds and attack us as a group. Trail Tapper. Uh, is trail on Matrix low. Roger, uh, I'll come back to plus nine boost, Arty. You're through! Woo! Uh, bypass the bomber target in the orange smoke, correct? Orange smoke is friendly airbase. Can we arm refuel if needed? Well, yeah, it's super turned around yes, there, Captain Ray, turn now, 60 degrees. Why not have Tully on orange smoke? There's like wind gusts or turtles up here, top, so... Uh, Metric 3 point 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 possible. Our priorities take down the bombers. They're going to cop it from south. Roger. Climbing to 0 Are you with us high? I am, but I'm lost in a cloud somewhere behind you guys. <laughs> Alright, just IFR 060, you'll find us. Yeah, we're going to go to the cloud we're through the tops now, so we should be okay. We're, we're in the clear above the clouds. Roy, I'm about to, I'm about to. Uh, we're at the cloud tops. We're at 3.5 kilometers out of you.
Tally Bombers, one o'clock, you see it, Lee? Okay, you'll, you'll see it soon. Now 12. Then we'll switch tanks, I suggest you switch tanks now. Carry bomber, carry bomb. We're gonna make a head on pass, Cat, ready your guns. Aye, aye. Push power 1.4. Have we got value humanoids? Uh, red flight, take care of the escort. Red flight's going for the bombers. Get ready for maximum uh, yeah, yeah, so the the south 15. I'm through, I'm through, guys. Um, I'm still climbing, I'm at the 4K, that's about 12,000 feet. Once you're through 060, I get straight to the bombers. Just see they're conning, there's at least 50. Zero heading, 060. Bombers are standing on the bombers, standing on the bombers. They're heading right to left. Uh, I think we need to head like 020. Yeah, we're on an uh, intercept 030, looks good for us. Recommend 020, 010 after that, we stagger. We're five and a half kilometers. Yeah, they're still, they're higher than we are, Ken. I think we gotta go up another thousand at least. Yep. Oh, Tally on the bombers, look at those trails, boys. I got Tally climbing. Special, I think there's some fighters in the escort. Oh shit. Of the bomb. Yeah, they are fighters. We're six kilometers. Yeah, we're fixing the speed up, I'm starting to wall up. Is our O2 on? Uh, mine should be. Yours should be. Thanks, hey, Tommy, we're in bad bandits. Gotta get speed up, Lee. We're, we're, they're getting away from us. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, cover, Cap, get rid of your drop tank. Roger. Passing for Matrix. Drop tanks off. Yep, same. High, high is drop tank off. Master arm on. Let's get him. Lots of bombers like that. Oh, lots. Fighters take care of the fighter escort. And we'll skip and and the fighter escort. Roger, 109 is going after fighters first. Cap, general climb 500 feet from the net. What's your range of cover at that? Uh, six, exactly six kilometers. Six point two. Roll your highest at six, look at this guy's are around six. I'm gonna go up all the way to eight or something like that. And the scooters, if you haven't so changed to auto supercharger, do so now. Turn on your oxygen, boys, remember? We need oxygen up here. Cap, we're gonna make a pass, uh, slicing the tack left to right into the front. Mm, guns and then Fox 4. Now remember, you can uh, re and refuel at any uh, base with an orange smoke. If you go under the clouds, you'll see them. Stop it. Roger, well, general heading of the field to re is gonna be 210. Egress 210, you're getting to trouble. Yeah, so Sorry, Cap, passes, okay. empty your guns, then re -arm and go again. Okay, lead this hit MW-50 and do it. Which is like Valley Humanoids. This plane was built for. Take a target. Oh my god. Hey, we're going with a 30 mic mic. It's the loop bumper tactic, boys. Uh, Don't stay with the corners. Get the weak gazelle, get the weak gazelle. Take your time to position your plane. Two head on flashing attacks. That was hard in the look. Find the bottom over left. Tidy fighter, they're going after fighter. Alright, we've got a good perch cap, let's get some speed, we'll do another slicing attack. Really? Engaging bombers or fighters? Uh, we're slicing attacks on the bombers. The fighters are too slow to really pull with us as long as we keep that. Roll your bombers are priority. 
special on post to ground boost on the left flank. Yeah, for high right side. All right, Cap, we're in. Target the uh, furthest left bomber on the outside. Really? It's going to be easier said than done. Oh my god, I can't do it. It's too hard. Jesus Christ. Yeah, cover. There's a uh, enemy fighter on your sticks. I'm after him. Roger, well, you shouldn't be able to pull with me. Alright, Cap, just kind of uh, rotate in and out of formation. Okay. One bomber's left formation. Roger, he's no factor. Keep trying to pick him up. Just work on the outsides. Cap's going far left. Someone just fox forward. Bombs out, bombs out. Right. No, there's only one of them. Well, that was a bomber down. Someone that fox forward. Fuck, jug. You motherfucker. Man, my buddy is beautiful, beautiful man. <laughs> I'm under attack by a jug, I'm leaving. Roger, what's out of here in the formation, Capital? I'm directly behind in their cons. High or low? In the cons. Roger, I'm gonna try to set up to clean you. Shouldn't really be that fast. Are you still trail of all of them? Yes, I'm in the cons, quarter of a mile behind the bombers. Cap, you in the clear. Mercy. Roger, I'm diving back in for another channel of the bomber. Hi, is attacking from 12 o'clock, passing the formation right now, let him be safe, I'm gonna turn in. Hey, motherfucker. Flash wind jacking, uh, left led. most bomber on the outside. Get some! Special guns, left of the vomit. Shot one bomber! Get some! I got one, he's on, he's on fire, he's on fire. Yes, got one as well. My bomber got two engines on fire, he's going down for sure. Running in again. Yep, over again. Charlie, target the ones to the right. Come on, mother. Come on, you mother. Special attacking the one on the far left. Roger, cover the wrong far left as well. I'll go for middle left, actually. Woo! Splash one. Guess up, baby. 
I don't see corners. Are you getting shot by corners? No, too cold for their little hands. Pipe engine broken. Going down. Not over a friendly base pipe path. Pick you up. Splash B-17. Special switching to the right of the formation. Go for center. Finish off the left side. Getting through him now, boys. Easy now, easy now, don't be silly. Come out with my plane. Chewing through them now, boys. Check your six periodically. Captain, you've got the flight. Cover Fox Ford 1 when I ran out of ammo. We're good. We'll see you in heaven. Winchester Cap fully Winchester, getting out of here on splash one. Anyone know where the base is? Say the heading again. Two one zero for the base look for orange smoke. Well, that was jolly good fun, wasn't it? On heading, pretty much. Oh, look at that. Right, watch out for compressibility. Spaceship, oh, five kills. Holy bananas. Five kills, you got an ace. Tally orange smoke. I'm coming. We hit him pretty good. 
the bow it looks like uh, only a few few are pushing. One, two, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, three, one. We killed twenty one of them. Not friggin' bad for one squadron. Way we're landing on orange. Orange is uh, anywhere where you want, Cap, just call it. And this thing's fast, look at that. 350 knots. Cap landing at Orange. I suspect I must have taken a hit. Are we uh, using, are we using runway 10? Yeah, hang on. Running, landing on 28, 28. 28, 2-8. Heavy crosswind, be super careful guys. Like, death crosswind. Copy. Special downwind. Oh, I'm not sure we can land this guys. I'm not sure we can do this. Let's follow that up. Safe. This was the ultimate test for VR frame rate. Cap landed and safe. God, that's really hard, guys. Highest Winchester RTV. I don't see all the bomber formation spread out. I don't see them still pushing. Special turning base to right. Roger Space, your second down. Bring it in, grab that biatch. Welcome back, second man. Look at him deal with that crosswind. Look at him deal with that crosswind. Easy. Anything's easy for the chef. Oh, I got shot. Look at that. Is anyone else coming back? Is there everyone dead? Just me and you, Space. Ho -ho. No, hi, he's coming back. I got two kills, baby. Oh, we got, we got the high man. Surviving is, gonna, is being my priority in this campaign. <laughs> I still have uh, some 13 millimeter rounds and lots of fuel, so I, I can just go with you guys. Don't, don't, don't wait. I won't make you wait. Okay, special fuel lead the way. High will link up. Okay, okay, because I saw American start there. Should be Russian though. Do you know where you're going? 
Oh, I've got a malfunction, my brakes are fucked up. That's me, hi. Also, man, if I'm going, yeah, it's gonna be four ship. Have I to report landing? My, one of my brakes failed, I'm gonna try again. I might be out of hydraulics. Which would be a massive problem. Just circle the base, would you, uh, thingy, uh, spaceship? Yeah, I'm gonna orbit for now. Anyone know if this has hydraulic or pneumatic brakes? The 109 needs hydraulic. I believe. That will problematic be. Let's try that again, guys. Might have just been an unlucky moment. Right, come on, little. Come on, little thing. Space, you circling the pier? Seems okay now. I only see cut down there, I don't see the mosque. Seems okay. Special fire uh, in the air, uh, I'm in the left turn orbit, just above the airfield. Cap able. Alright, visual cap, I'm gonna be joining, I'm joining. Looking for share. Uh, Cap, I'm on your uh, 5 o'clock high. Uh, you guys have a bearing. I'm trying to use the radio, but I think it's using uh, advanced uh, radio. I don't have those bound. Have we got a rough vector? Yeah, we need to contact the ATC to get a vector. Also, note you've got your flaps down. Yeah, she'll bring you home, she'll bring you home. You're looking good, not leaking anything, nothing, no smoke, nothing. It feels good. Engine is good. I've been told 300, Chef, is that what you think? 300, that's roughly the direction we're going for, yep. Alright. Let's get as much speed out of her as you can. 300 for 90 miles, base. 300 for 90. 300 for 90, copy. Just give yeah, me a minute to get a good heading and my... Um, Direction. I think we can play it high, no? Do we need to play it low? Yeah, just, just go whichever way. It's a long way to go for a Warbirds. The fastest way is the best way. My engine temperature is below threshold. Not sure what to do. What, the green or the red? The coolant is below the lowest needle. Yeah, the green thing is the coolant. I'm just going to rev it up and try and heat the engine up. Because I'm going to freeze, freeze the engine. You can move the uh, you can move the brown lever on your right knee to the left and shot the, the shorter so it can heat up faster. This is maximum speed, yeah? Maximum continuous. No, I, I can push it, I can push it. I see a little bit of damage on your left engine space, but not leaking or anything. Copy. Yeah, that's one of the tanks at the beginning of the mission. I think they hit me. Yeah, but it's running good. Uh, I don't see any leaks, anything. Yeah, and since it's the first damage from the first um, turn. It's still working now, it's gonna keep working. Yup, yup. I'm on your left wing. Yep, good eyes on you. Okay, this speed's a lot better. My engine's now in threshold. Stop it. Did you show it up? No, I don't need to anymore at this speed. Roger. I got my radio shot right now to warm up a little bit. I forget to open it if we get jumped. Cook okay. it. Yep, yes sir. That's gonna be a cool F3 side, but don't do it now. Hello, hi. Hey cup!
What the fuck? Oh, my internet's quit. Oh, come on, that is so predictably unfair. Ridiculously. God damn it, that's frustrating, God. Ah. My internet disconnected, I'm now in your plane. Ha ha ha. So it should be around the right frequency, but I'm not receiving in good high mode. Roger, while I was out, I did have a quick cheat and look at the map, and we are going the correct way, guys. About 50 more miles. Copy. Hello, Bob. Check your, check your real club. Hello, hi. Did you guys bring a lunch? Did you bring, like, a jelly sandwich or something for the trip? I lost it when I jumped out of my VF-109 and jumped into the mozzie, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I have plenty of stuff in that uh, mozzie. So far, clear into the horizon. So, Cap, uh, can you figure out why we are hearing the beacon, but uh, we are not receiving it properly for the direction finding? Well, I don't even hear it. Do you hear it now? Yeah, I can hear it. It's just not working on multi-crew. I've got nothing coming through. 20 miles, you'll hear it properly. Okay, we'll hear it properly at 20 miles, apparently. 32 bombers down, guys. Not bad for idiots like us. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was great. Top scorer still, chef. Mozzies did really well. Yeah, there's more kills on that cap because you lost when you disconnected and, and cover left the server. So there's five more. Oh yeah, I forgot. You guys have on the airfield? No, are we near it? I think we sh we should be close. <laughs> At least 30 miles away or 20 something. Got it, got it, got it. 11 o'clock, guys. Tally dancing flares and on heading. On the right. Just on the right of that in furthest hill. Oh, I don't hear the heading off the runway. So, we're going to turn right to the left and align. Okay, green is the threshold, red is the end of the runway. By the way, Cap, are you hearing uh, the, what's that called? the close range bacon? No, I've got nothing coming through, but we've proved. Okay, interesting. So I do have the sound, but not you. So I can hear the code that we on the left. Well, you guys go straight in. I'm going to break above you and go behind. Copy. A bit of uh, fresh air, Cap. Yes, I need some fresh air. Copy. Special control final. Some other guys did make it. OK, 
Hey, can you come high? Right, because you're gonna break above your horse and then come in for landing. Okay, one other A5 and one A8 and one other mozzie made it. Woo! Sonic boom. That's my high. We have more loot for the planes here, yes? Ah, Panzerkuppenfagen. Welcome back, hi, I'll see you guys Don's the debrief. Roger, good flying, good job boys. Welcome back guys, uh, some of us made it and it was a lovely big interception. How do you want to do this, bypass? I'd like to summarize briefly, if I may. Send. Okay, well first of all, well done to everyone. Uh, it was good flying all around. Uh, promotions and medals for everybody. Mm. Uh, Especially congratulations to the eight uh, pilots that made it back. Simba, Matrix, Space Chef, Red or Tanky, Cap, High and Blight. Congratulations for finding Salsk and landing. Um, we learned a lot today. Um, so we learned a bit about the uh, ADF system and how to use that effectively and the limitations it has. We also learned that the um, Mosquito makes a great bomber killer. And so, yeah, we learned a lot. And I'm very curious to know how the flights went on. So over to you guys. Right, uh, us, I guess. We took off, we had, to, we had to scramble, so we got split up, but then we made it back together at waypoint one. We went through the waypoint chain with the mozzies. We got to the um, bombers, climbed to 20,000 feet, intercepted, uh, killed a bunch of them. We lost cover uh, against one of them, and I don't know what happened to Rhino, question mark. I got completely lost. I ended oh. up following a couple of mosquitoes oh, out of uh, now. base, and uh, one of them was uh, damp, and he didn't know where he was going either. <laughs> so then I ended up breaking for them and headed in a northwestern direction, hoping to intercept the valley. Never found it, so I ended up flying over the mountain pass, which meant I had to break the uh, ceiling to get over the mountains. Mm -hmm. But on the other side of the mountain pass, managed to find the uh, orange smoke, and then from there managed to find the bombers. Um, came in for a, yeah, came in for, uh, it was pretty lucky actually. I was flying on my own for ages. Um, then I, I was coming in for uh, bomber runs, but I was trying to keep my speed up just to evade any enemy fighters, but I was coming in way too fast. So the angles I was coming in at were like basically 90 degree angles. I uh, made a couple of successful passes, getting some cannon rounds on. Um, but then it was only a matter of time with like, sort of closing speeds that I ended up smashing into one of the bombers and taking them out accidentally so that was the end of my flight all right so that was that um myself and high rtb to an uh, intermediate base refueled then did the next 90 miles and landed i got uh disconnected but i came back in in the mozzie and did it next group send okay this is uh Schwamplau. Um, I think um, uh, Ryle and I, we took off. Um, I lost and visual at some point in the canyons on Ryle, but uh, I think he also made it through. We engaged then the bombers. Um, I managed to kill uh, one bomber with guns and one with my airplane and ejected above Mostok. And that was my story. Next flight, guys. Uh, this is Blight. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I got shot on the way getting off the, the initial base, but I uh, had to retake off and I was behind everybody. Uh, I met up again at like third and fourth uh, uh, smoke and then lost everybody again. Uh, kept following the pathway through, kept finding more smoke, and then got the notification for the bombers, headed 060. And I, I never found the bombers, but I did end up making it all the way to... Uh, to Salsk. Andre, okay, that's good. Uh, next flight. 
Uh, that'd be yellow one. Uh, took off, headed north, uh, orbited a bit, regrouped with some of the guys. Our flight was a little bit split up. Headed through the canyons all right, and we're heading towards uh, Salsk when we got the message that there's an incoming enemy bomber stream, so Artie and I, who were together at that point, we turned onto the intercept heading. As we were climbing up, I had a driver bug, black screened, mm. and I rejoined Damp and then uh, Simba and ended up with Simba back at uh, Salsk. Yeah, I um, I joined with Matrix. So I was ro uh, flying technically in the wrong yellow flight. But as uh, Matrix said, we engaged the bombers. I got rounds on quite a few bombers, at one definite kill. And then I was Winchester. I started to descend to the orange smoke and uh, I ran out of fuel. I think I must have been, had my fuel tanks damaged because I had plenty when I engaged the bombers and nothing. But I landed and survived the landing out. Roger. Uh, and I'd just like to say that uh, even though I had loads of radio troubles, I had really good flight and took down four of the bombers. Nice. I, sh I should say, on the mozzie, on the directional finder, I had it locked on uh, from about 10 minutes after the initial takeoff. It was no problem whatsoever. Weird. Right, next flight, guys. Uh, that will be me bypass BF-109. Um, I pretty much followed everyone else to, to the bombers. Um, I focused on the, the fighters, trying to keep them away from you guys. Um, I shot down one, and I overheated my engine, unfortunately. And so I had to glide down to a friendly air base and bail out. But the other three fighters uh, left after that, so that might have worked. I'm just, I'd just like to say that all the bombers were downed. I can confirm that. So uh, excellent work from everyone. Nice. Well, we got all of them. Very good. Next group. Okay, Push has left, I think. So we're going to the next group. We are uh, hold up with the group uh, over the canyons, uh, got lost in the clouds, but then catch up with uh, the bombers and uh, I started to chase what I thought was the last of the bombers and it turns out to be a mozzie. Hmm. And uh, when I figured it out, yeah, we basically uh, flew to the uh, last airport together. Very good. Anyone else, guys? Yellow 2 flight. So we took off, we did, I think, uh, three orbits, and then we headed north. We rejoined the uh, yellow one. Uh, I think some of us were a uh, mix between the two groups, but doesn't matter as long as we're staying close together. Um, we, uh, we made it uh, safe through the mountains, then received the call to intercept the bombers. So we managed to get there i think just on time uh, i was struggling to get to the bombers with a little uh, energy left but i managed to actually get pretty much information with them so it was very easy to destroy their engines so i picked five nice. and then uh, flew back to one of the intermediate airfields to uh, refill rearm and uh, made it back to base with a high end cap. Yes, you did. Is that that's the lot, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Um, any final words, guys? Um, yes, just to say um, that we we did it. We scraped by, in by the skin of our teeth, and that now after all the the ice and snow, um, I think we'll go somewhere warm next time. But uh, JG Nine, fly on. Very good. Ah, uh, nice. Great missions, guys. Nice. All right. Well done. I'll catch you guys later. See you, Captain. See you.